Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? How do you feel? Do you feel a little bit tired these days? Hmm? Maybe. Or suddenly energized and then suddenly okay suddenly <laughs> you are down and you need some rest right especially especially with the seven seven gate just three days back it started to activate the energies of the forbidden fruits the energies of the Empress <laughs> and the Emperor but the Emperor is coming later why? Because first, the Divine Feminine aspect of ourselves is going to be activated, integrated, with, along with the Divine Masculine aspects within. First, in those, especially in those who are embodying um, the divine feminine aspects of themselves dominantly within a female body or a male body depends on which uh, uh, scenario you chose to be contracted to be uh, in this uh, lifetime so you're probably already feeling the energies you're probably already feeling the the vibes are changing little by little but it's it's definitely more and more and what you can uh, also feel and it's communicated by your guides each and every moment each and every day uh, in each and every symbolism that they chose to that they choose to to talk to you to communicate with you whether is this is happening in the out outside world or the inside world within or without and you can feel more and more this uh, this empress energy rising within you Right. and you're definitely joining together with your divine masculine but first it's all depending again on whether you are the uh, met with your divine masculine um, counterpart or you are yet to meet with them in the physical in the outside world but you are depending on your timeline and what you are supposed to fulfill at this very moment sorry about my lipstick there I just made it rushing so yes you are either getting to know your divine masculine already in the outside world as well because the physical union is approaching more and more 
or if you are in uh, the timeline where you need to embody more and more your individual personal power then you are still getting ready to meet with your counterpart in the physical outside world experience so there are just little uh, adjustments are going on and and we are mainly collectively still in the energy of preparation in uh, alignment aligning our mind body and soul as as it's integrating bit by bit each and every day minute by minute hour by hour right mm, it was so energetic for the whole day but something happened and I just feel like to again I just really feel like to chill out and not doing anything I was a little bit busier in the, in the morning maybe that's why and uh, I just couldn't wait to come out and, and just chill out here in, in the park and actually this is a, a, a back area of the park and it's more uh, connected to, um, to a cemetery here I really love this because there are no, no dogs <laughs> you, you already know how do I feel about jumping dogs? I, I don't I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. No, it's not my cup of tea. And the the amount of animal spirit symbolism that was uh, approaching me for example yesterday we've been to a park and that was absolutely heavenly and I all of a sudden surrounded by all these powerful extremely powerful animal spirits that you can imagine all with a really nice positive message so it's still you're approaching this unity consciousness within yourself you are unfolding in your f in your completeness and in, in your fullness and your wholesomeness and this is gonna be bring you more and more peace this is going to bring you more and more uh, reassurance and more divine groundedness, a feeling of groundedness, tranquility. I, at this point, I, I can't even relate to any any of the outside world uh, misery and I'm completely cut off I can say and I'm proud of it I'm not even feeling to 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 check anything about the outside world because I know that what is inside of me what is within me it's more and more coming to show itself and uh, represent itself to me and I am the one who creates my own universe right what does it mean to be in the Empress energy? 
what does it mean to be the embodiment of the Empress and as soon as you actually embodying the Empress you cannot avoid but to instantly and simultaneously attracting and magnetizing the Emperor energy and power within you as well but first is always the feminine first is always this uh, subconscious that that wants to be cleared wants to be settled everything that is hidden but you are working together with the Emperor you're systematically diligently you know discipline yourself you're organizing yourself you're systemizing everything that is going on for you you're making your you're making and you're creating and co-creating your reality within this unifying within this unifying um, concept and perspective and going back to the Empress power the other day I was um, I was dreaming with uh, with a huge snake that was so so much it was so huge uh, like a, like an anaconda in the jungles the the giant snakes from the jungle <sighs> the dream was absolutely fascinating and that was actually pointing me and I'm talking about this dream because I'm really sure that you also need this collectively it's it's very much um, important to to mention to ground ground everything everything is not just to ground yourself because you still need to pay attention on all kinds of grounding um, activities all kinds of grounding exercises that is without that uh, too much uh, chatter in the mind too much overthinking or too much of you wanting to find out what to do what is your next step you know if you if you have no clarity at the moment it's better not to force the clarity to come because that's not how the clarity going to come to you when you don't feel that you have clarity of your mind when you don't feel that you see with clarity then that is absolute a uh, sign and uh, a spiritual calling for you to first uh, leave alone the mind leave alone the thinking leave alone let it go to force let it go and and not force the whatever epiphany whatever clarity solution you you want to know about this is really important you first you need to let it go completely drop it like you drop the chains like you drop the bags 
the luggage is. You need to f you need to make you feel comfortable with the initial idea idea of being uncomfortable not knowing because as soon as you enter into the embodiment of the empress and as soon as you feel your empressness and as soon as this empressness magnetizes and draws in the emperor and when this whole wholesomeness this unifying um, process truly completes within you first mind body and soul this trinity the equilibrium within oneself this inner balance inner unity the unity consciousness embodies itself and manifests itself in the physical as soon as that happens and you can see it in, in all kinds of things starts to happen and unfold for you at that moment you are going to see 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 you know the halo your crown the unity consciousness crown and that is only happening by clearing up constantly clearing up the junk thinning the whale in all aspects of yourself and lower chakras and the anaconda the giant snake came out of the waters right we've, we've been on a, a ship like uh, ship like um, I don't even know how to construction I, I don't know how to say this in the we were on the water and this hu huge like it 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 was the giant of the giant snake like you you would look like this next to that snake it was enormous and this is your true empress and emperor power from within the kundalini inner beast facing and rising up from its ashes the phoenix bird 
your dragon you can call any you can call this anything it's it's literally exactly the same By the way, look at this. Most of this pattern that I got on, I, I've been doing it for the very first time. That's why you can see the clumsiness in that. But it's still really pretty. I love it. <laughs> More importantly, this is on my hand because it's an activation. I believe so especially those parts that was um, that I decided to to draw myself intuitively I actually made uh, more than 30 30 no more than 40 percent of this um, this uh, henna and the symbolism look at that on these three fingers representing Saturn Mercury and which one is the third Jupiter Jupiter I think that's for sure Saturn Mercury not not necessarily in this uh, direction not in this not how I said it but you are working now you are working with the root chakra and the root chakra surrounds also these three planets I mean it's highly connected to these three planets that are ruling aspects of your life that are related to the material world the physical world because what is happening right now is you've been working so much on the spiritual realm and now you're as you're integrating all that you've gone through with these uh, moon cycles and you're more dominantly start to work with the Sun and the Sun cycles that are more subtle and slower paced but at the same time creating more and more stability ground feeling of groundedness and more and more system and structure into and my guides are showing me so much uh, symbolism that you are building your own self up all over again and you building something entirely new never seen before entity being that you are as a divine human being as a god goddess human being from this moment onwards especially 666 since the 666 gate portal energy portal and the 77 energy portal these are all more and more strengthening these these uh, structures that are ready to be founded and built brick by brick by you and your spiritual team and the collective that are meant to work together as aka your soul tribe now these are more and more coming together now the junk is more and more clearing up in every single aspect of your lives 
and this is creating more balance from the inside out and you are now called directly as I was called that means you are also called to root to to grow roots to root yourself into the physical now because it's time to to for the embodiment of this unity consciousness and to anchor it down onto the physical so it has more weight to it you know it can more uh, stronger uh, more strongly can um, emanate the divine energies and spread these energetic cords uh, cords cords as well yes and codes now cords this is really interesting because cords are established right now as you are following your journey day by day you are coming together with uh, destiny helpers kindred spirits and your soul tribe you are more and more finding each other and establishing cords sacred divine contracts that are for the betterment of humanity and not anymore for any destruction or fear-based activities and this is going to uh, dom dominate over the opposing energies and I'm not even entertaining to talk about anything that is going on or it's intended because I'm not uh, intending to strengthen those energies and you need to be really careful what you're focusing on and what you're talking about getting the information um, knowing what is going on is not a sin you have the right to know what is going on and you are receiving information uh, what I heard deliberately because you need to be aware you have you need to have the awareness of what is going on on both sides to see with the clarity of a true spiritual royalty that is here to lead humanity to leap towards and embody the next level of consciousness and establish and and manifest it into the physical everyday experience on earth so that that dream was absolutely mind-blowing I loved it I didn't um, firstly I didn't really understood but <laughs> this dream has uh, both uh, sides of it all when you are becoming your most powerful self and when you are blossoming into into this most powerful self of yours because when you are your root chakra being activated by the kundalini rising again up and up and now it's it's not just a process it's not just a cycle it's not just a spiritual inward uh, shedding cycle do you understand 
this is now is transforming the outside world and you as a human vessel as well in a in a even more profound way like you're gonna change physically it's a physical change it's a materialized um, DNA cell based complete full wholesome change and transformation you you becoming a different human being altogether you becoming someone brand new and you're doing this with along with mother earth she's going to have uh, new sh species in the plant kingdom in the animal kingdom appearing I seen already many insect uh, uh, species uh, popping up new I haven't never ever seen such uh, insects or little bugs she already presented many of that to me and some of them obviously as of the natural uh, selection process some of the species going to uh, disappear just for the sake of recycling and re-morphing into something else something better something more sustainable something something more representing this higher level consciousness higher level vibrational frequency uh, qualities so i got some friends here can you see the end i'm not sure you can see the my friend yeah over there <laughs> Oh. So, yes, this is happening now. You're, if you're, uh, if you are a high priestess or were a high priestess you're definitely becoming an empress now if you're a high priest you're definitely becoming an emperor now more and more bit by bit brick by brick and that is that's why we are um, heading to the union reunion of the two uh, counterparts and it's not just happening um, with regards the counterparts as partners partners in sacred crime isn't it <laughs> but it's it's, it's literally happening in all aspects of our lives, everywhere. If you haven't had, yeah, for example, my guides are telling me, if you haven't had any uh, uh, blessing or any good fortune with your, within your career, now you are actually finding your place if you haven't been uh, able to grow your business now it's gonna be the time or your social media um, if you haven't found your soul tribe now you are ex now you are um, uh, 
yeah now you are just mm, uh, that word what I wanted to say I don't know now uh, like you're exposed yeah you're exposed to your soul tribe yeah that's what they say it's it's a good word to use yeah so just keep keep your keep your boundaries and discernment intact <laughs> i don't know if it makes sense what i just said but uh, yeah just um, someone doesn't agree with what i said <laughs> Um, yeah, just hustling and bustling this era, how we did business, how we did, how we used to approach to any or all aspects of our lives like really you know ma overly masculine ways of doing things it's completely now it's collapsing and it's sinking with its ship with all of the boats with all of the tools with all of the systems everything is now is drowning into the depth of uh, nothingness it's gonna be completely destroyed discarded and it's going to be you can you going to see this in your life like systems are collapsing and becoming seriously dysfunctional like that much dysfunctional not necessarily toxic but yes toxic as well but rather dysfunctional like it's not going to function <laughs> big sign the car siren this is really close now yeah got the shivers <laughs> as well <laughs> This is really close now and but yeah but they told me they telling me to tell you that you are protected and there is a plan for you already so you don't have to worry you don't have to be anxious you don't have to sweat in anxiety to to make it happen for you you don't have to find out you don't have to uh, calculate it for you everything everything is coming from the divine and that's why you need your rest and rejuvenation period now this stillness time this letting go again another confirmation just being like this just settle settle yourself sink in peacefully into your new position your divine throne this is really important you cannot be a spiritual royalty and cannot um, represent the divine on this earth without this inner felt and maintained maintained collectedness peacefulness and restness this restfulness 
now the silence is rather brings clarity than despair or loneliness to you for you this is really important you have no idea what type of situation I'm in I mean apart from what I already told you and now as you becoming the one who is the ultimate master of themselves meaning and therefore the ultimate master of all else and their own universe you know all the tools you mastered all the elements you already know all inside and outside of you all of the the aspects all your strengths and weaknesses you already know your options but you haven't you haven't been able to bring it to its fullness to its fulfillment and that is exactly comes when you are in a resting in this silent but full of clarity full of information full of divine downloads inspirations guidance self this is the only thing that the divine intend to work with so we are called to rest in have not in peace in the ground but rest in this heavenly peace rest in heaven where you are where you are where you all are provided for divinely 24 7 everything is given to you you are no more in lack it's not possible it's impossible right when you acknowledge your innate power this spiritual royalty this your divinity that you are that you truly are you cannot avoid it anymore it's it's becoming you more and more your more and more natural self to embody because anything else is just extremely painful physically hurting mentally physically emotionally it's just gonna be absolutely way out of the 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 limits that you can uh, bear so there is no other way 
but to settle into your they say preparedness your wisdom that you already gained and just being provided for <laughs> seriously I each day as I wake up I see in, in my world that everything is just there to take you know not to not as toxic taking not for the sake of using resources that are uh, not meant for you I'm not I don't mean it in that way but in the most precious most sacred that is it's indeed for you it's given to you and you know it you feel it it's yours because you granted this to yourself prior without knowing or knowing consciously or unconsciously it's because of your embodiment so we are getting ready for the next level games of game of I don't want to say I almost said something <laughs> game of you know exactly what I mean <laughs> it's the next level and there are many of you who are called to go into next level battles sacred battles and you're going to need your highest potential embodied to carry out these huge callings these huge missions that are awaits you I'm, I'm I got a little bit emotional now <laughs> I'm so blessed so honored to have you <laughs> to have you within my community because you are you are such a badass <laughs> you are such a great grand that's what they told me grand soul most probably you are ancient just like me <laughs> an ancient soul you died so many times already you <laughs> you proved you proved yourself so many times you've gone through so many things you are so precious 
for the divine and please 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 I beg you to trust your path <laughs> what I heard <laughs> you never heard this before but I, I'm just gonna say it Archangel Michael is asking you begging you to trust your path my lipstick is so funny <laughs> <laughs> don't even care <laughs> I'm still pretty okay <laughs> oh. this is this is gonna be epic I already told in a different video I just can't can't stop emphasize it on on this I'm going soon because um, I plan to finish a lot of good things. Oh, if you if you haven't uh, checked uh, that particular video, I'm preparing a really nice. Uh, I don't want me to talk about it too much but I'm I'm gonna prepare a lot of uh, great things for you guys so if you're if you're interested just stay stay tuned and very soon I'm going to launch and show and things for you It really sounds ridiculous, right? <laughs> How I talk about this? <laughs> Don't tell anything, but say something really small. But yeah, just to getting ready to to involve those of you who are interested in to join uh, with me in, into my programs and other services I'm so excited oh my god this is gonna be so big <laughs> it's gonna be so amazing <laughs> just can't wait <laughs> seriously <laughs> oh I'm so blessed. Oh. So blessed. Thank you. <sighs> little by little, I'm going to post it. I'm already actually have it on my website. If you're you are interested to check out or or even my youtube channel here i'm giving uh, hints already but the details and uh, the deeper information is just for those who are willing and ready to jump in and become their greatest and highest potential. Mm. 
embodied in this new beautiful earth that we are all birthing into being <laughs> oh. this is gonna be big guys like that car <laughs> how it sounded <laughs> it's gonna be a big ride it's gonna be a big ride okay beautifuls just let me know how are you doing how are you taking these energies What what is the transformation that you're going through? Anything that you pretty much anything that you want to share with me? I'm I'm ready to check out. Take care of yourself. Uh, practice self love, self care and know your priorities please it's really important now to to yes to take care of your health to balance your energies to take care of your mental health and choose everything that is serving you right now even people Heads up for those who are separating or going through still some legal issues or um, divorce or anything. Um, I bless you, I know exactly what you're going through. <laughs> um, just uh, keep keep your heads up know that I I am with you in in soul and spirit okay I don't know how to say goodbye <laughs> so I'm not gonna say goodbye see you next time blessings